it's time to do some things with a screen that is green. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get your green screens right using Pinnacle Studio 20. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. This tutorial will be done for the ultimate version of Pinnacle Studio because we'll be using some add-ons from New Blue Effects to get this done. If you don't have the ultimate version, that means if you have basic or plus, then you can watch my old green screen tutorial and learn how to do it using that video. So for those of you who have ultimate, stick around. If you have plus or basic, use the link in the video to head over to watch that video instead. As you can see on my timeline, I have my green screen footage on the top timeline and my background footage underneath. Your background footage can be a picture, it could be a video, it could be a motion loop, it could be whatever you want it to be. Just make sure that your green screen footage is above all the other footage so that your image or whatever you have in front of the green screen stays in the foreground and anything underneath it is in the background. So now I'm going to right click on the top clip that is my green screen footage and I'm going to go to open effects editor. Next I'm going to go to add-ons and then I'm going to go to new blue video essential six and I'm going to go to garbage mat. So what Garbage Mat does is it allows me to go around the image and just keep the part of the image that I want on the screen. The reason why I'm doing that is because I just need to have my subject and the green from that first clip. If I had other things, then you would be able to see the other elements outside of the green and you don't want that. You just want what's green and what the subject is in front of the green screen. So Garbage Mat helps you do that. So how it helps you do that is by using these parameters here to move things around to make sure that you only get green and your subject. So right now I only have green in my subject, so it might be good for most people. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from default to no preset. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on invert. And I'm going to click on show mask. So what this does for me is it lets me see where I'm moving each one of the parameters. So for top left, I'm going to move that in some. And in top left Y, I'm going to move that up some. Because the green is basically all the way to the top of the screen. So I can go all the way up. And in top right X, I'm going to move that over a little bit because it's past the green. I just want it to be in the green part. Top right Y, I'm going to move that up again. Bottom right Y, I'm going to move that all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Same thing for, well, for X and Y. And then for bottom left X, I'm going to... Move that in some because I just want to make sure that there's some green visible here. And if there are any shadows, I want to take that out because I don't want the shadows to be in here. It just makes it easier to do your key. And then bottom right X, I'm going to move this in some. See these shadows here? If I would include those, then it would make it a little bit harder to get my key. So I'm going to try to get outside of those shadows. And if I had more light, then maybe I could have eliminated the shadows that way. But I like the way it looks now. So I'm going to remove the invert and the mask. And now you just see the green and you see my background. So I'm good to go here. Next thing I need to do is go back to add-ons. 
I'm gonna go back to New Blue Video Essentials 6. And now I'm gonna click on Chroma Key Pro. So I'm gonna leave it on default. And for show mask, I'm gonna leave that on none. For the color, I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool. And I wanna click on the green. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna click on invert. So you see that everything kind of disappears here. And my goal here is to make sure that everything that was green turns gray. And then you can only see, you can see through the subject in the middle of the screen. So now you go ahead and move your parameters where you need to in order to get that to happen. So you can start off with your erase spill. You start moving that up. And you start to see these elements turn gray. And so now that I see those are gray, I'm gonna actually move my color range up to try to fill out the screen. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top here. So I still see some of this isn't gray. So I'm gonna move my Erase spill up some. And some of this is still see through. So I'm going to move my sensitivity up. And you can see things are starting to change and get a lot prettier here. Let's see. I think this is pretty good. Most of this now is gray and you can see my subject in the middle of the screen. So now if I click on invert, voila, all the green is gone, it's see-through, and you can see the subject in the middle of the screen. So now that I have all that done, I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And I let it render and we have our wonderful green screen. If I go through here and just scrub my timeline while it's rendering. I don't want to play because I don't have it set to render while it's playing. But you can see a beautiful key with no green, no halos. It all looks lovely. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps. I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end truly means the world to me. Now, I'd like to also go ahead and give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Michael Mazzara. Michael Mazzara has a YouTube channel that focuses on travel, events, concerts, and more. So do me a favor, head on over to his channel, check out some of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Michael Mazzara did, make sure that you head to the video description and fill out a shout out request form. And if you have any tutorials that you'd like to request, make sure that you head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I got that out of the way, I need you to do a few things for me. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on that. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any questions, you got comments, you just want to talk, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button and then click on the bell. When you do that, you'll receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.